You see, this week, my guest is quite simply that bloke off Grand Designs. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Kevin MacLeod! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a genuine car fan has come among us today. Yeah, it's a guilty secret I have, but it's true. A true, because it's a bit annoying, if I'm honest, because I'm going to want to spend most of the time with you talking about interior design, and I suspect you're going to want to talk about cars. Yeah, I don't know very much about interior design, so, um, yeah, let's talk <laughs> about cars. Looking through all the notes, and your past interests and so on. You have a passionate interest in V8s. Yes. I mean, I'm, my father was an engineer. I'm looking at one now. You're looking, I was going to say, is this, this coffee is table turning you on? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a Porsche. Stroking it with my toe. Because <laughs> I've looked at your past cars that you've had. Yes. The SL, Mercedes, yes. V8, Maserati Coupe, V8. Yeah. Ferrari 355, yeah. V8. Yeah. TVR Cerbera, V8. I tell you, look, the V8 thing. Food blender. Yeah. Oh, my V8 food blender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Which was, frankly, an out-and-out failure. <laughs> of, of... The blades need a bit of work, but it's already been converted, as we speak, into a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> oh, well, uh, no, I think what you should do is combine the two great male obsessions and get a V8 to, to power a power shower. Power shower? No, no, m yeah. male obsession oh. is internet pornography, surely. <laughs> I don't know how you can have a V8-powered internet porn connection. Maybe you could. Maybe you could, and maybe that would actually deliver everything that anybody's ever dreamed of. <laughs> so where does this love of how things work come from? Oh, it was my father, who was an engineer. Brilliant. He was a rocket scientist, and so I... Um, you know, what, a real one? A real one, yeah. Really? He designed stuff that went into space, and, you know, for, I grew up with a, a house where the boiler was always in pieces, there was always a car in the middle of the kitchen in bits. The, you know, I've serviced most of my own cars. Um, I've done lots of bioethanol, um, petrol mixes, you know, experimented with fuels on them, you know. But I'm interested in this idea that you can service your own cars, because, of course, you did have a TVR, yeah. a yeah. Cerbera. <laughs> the point about the Cerbera was it was a kit car um, in reverse, in as much as you bought a, a new, shiny object mm. and you parked it at home and slowly it sort of disassembled itself. <laughs> um, you know, the, the, the gear lever would come off. It did drive me up a uh, slope once with the, with the headlamps and the washer and the uh, windscreen wipers all working, and the horn, all working at the same time. Completely, I mean, it sort of drove itself. With none of them actually turned on? No, 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 the... no, it, it turned them all on by itself. <laughs> Have you ever had a Saab? I've had a Saab, I've had two Saabs. <laughs> I had a Saab, a uh, big estate Saab that ran on bioethanol. Um, and years and years ago, my second car was a big orange jelly mould Saab, the 95, you know, 95... Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you must have done. You can't yeah, be a designer without... a quarter-inch plate to that car. It's fantastic. What, you, could, the... you could crash into anything, and you'd leave a sort of Saab-shaped impression in it, you know. Did you ever try? Yes. <laughs> in my, my, I had it in my 20s, so in London. I was, I'd, yeah, and I'd sit and read the paper in the car on the hill and suddenly find myself glued <laughs> to a Cortina. Uh, yeah. so, so they yeah. were... Because so, they, they are architects, cars. I mean, they are just... Yeah. I know you're not an architect, but design the no, same no. sort of thing. No, but you're no, presumably no, no, very um, interested yeah. in the aesthetics. Of course I am. I'm interested... Well, I'm interested in efficiency, I'm interested in design, I'm interested in aesthetics, I'm interested in ecology, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've gone green now, so... Um, and don't smirk. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, I mean, no, my, my one ambition today was to come here and use the word eco on Top Gear. Wait, let's listen. Say it again. Eco. Yeah. Oh, come no, on. I thought, just... There's a ripple of applause from the far corner. Eco. <laughs> you, I was going to say you've caught the green bug. We think of it as a disease. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what really excites me is the idea that, you know, actually, when we use this word, eco, it's, it's useless calling cars eco cars or houses eco houses. But the reason I love Aston Martins is that the Aston is beautiful. The Astons are beautiful cars. They're beautifully put together. They're beautifully made. 98% of them that were ever made are still on the road. And how sustainable can you get? Well, because I mean, it, it's the business of you have an Aston Martin and you keep it in the garage and it lasts 50 years and you only drive it 1,000 miles a year is... A Toyota Prius, with its nickel yeah. batteries, is going to do a lot more damage if you believe that cars are damaging the environment. Um, which I do. Which you do. In and use. you are entitled to come here with this opinion yeah. and not be killed in any way <laughs> by... <laughs> but no, it's... No, it, I'm uh, going to figure out my exit route from the studio. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now, I just want to get onto your lap, if I may, OK? Ah, yeah, yeah. How was it? It was addictive. I mean, I've never done it before, and uh, I'm going to do it again a lot. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You enjoyed it? I loved it. I never thought you'd get so much, so much pleasure out of a little one point, whatever it is. Um, well, who'd like to see how Kevin got on? Yes. 
here we go, Kevin. Let's have a look. <laughs> Tame that wheel spin nicely. You've never done this oh, sort of thing. Oh, my God. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. You actually look terrified. That was a little dab of brakes there, halfway through the corner. Keep the front in check. It looks so tame. It looks so tame here. That, that doesn't look quite as tame as you're making out. No, that's well done. Oh, baby. I think this is going to hurt. Do you ever actually blink? You haven't blinked as far as... Not, not... Ooh. I've never seen countryside move so fast. Still haven't blinked. I have only one devout wish, and that is to beat Terry Wogan. Oh, God, he couldn't get much closer to those. Now, we're, where are we going? Now? Come on, baby. Well, this, well, that looked brilliant. That, I've never seen that done better than that. But that was, that was because I was driving at 15 miles an hour. No, you weren't. No, there we look. A second to last corner is phenomenal. And no speeds. I've never seen anyone do that. Normally, you, people cut the corner or go too far and run, run wide. It was the penultimate one, though. I mean, you know, I finally got my act together by the penultimate corner, you know. That's the trouble. Anyway, it was to establish how fast you went round. Now, there's the, uh, there's the board. Um, I can't believe this moment, this moment I've been dreaming of. I'm looking, as you can see, at the bottom ten. Well, no, you went faster than that. OK, so maybe Keith Allen? Maybe well, it's Keith, Allen. Keith Allen. He's sort of there. Rob Brown, he's down there. So, drive track. Yeah. You did it in one minute. Yeah. 40. Yes. Yeah. Five. <laughs> What's the fastest ever? 45.8. Jeremy. Point nine. Yep. The specific time is 145.87. Yeah, yeah. JK was 145.83. So you're only half a second off JK. Yeah. I don't know how you're going to be able to live this down, Jeremy, that you have the UK mentalist come on the show and, you know, get... No. Um, <laughs> but I, I, but Thank I... God for JK. Yes. <laughs> No, if the eco mentalists have gone to the top, you're really you're, you're barking up the quite literally the wrong tree because you have a natural gift for it. There can be no doubt about it, and that's an amazingly quick time. I can't say anymore. I'm a bit overcome. You can hold your head up high, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin McLeod. Yeah.